What's up YouTube, it is Hector from Not Too Nerdy and I just came back from the gym so sorry for the quality of the video. It's all on my uh, S7 Edge, which if you guys don't know I had to return my Note 7, you know the Galaxy Exploded Note 7, um, temporarily until they get the new ones and I'll bring it back. But uh, for right now I got the S7 Edge which is pretty good, you know the camera is really good on it, you know I still miss the Note 7 but I'm going to go ahead and use it. But uh, I want to talk about the PlayStation Pro. Now I was going to make official video and edit and stuff like that, but you know what, I'm like screw this stuff. Like I got to talk about this right now because it, it's getting ridiculous. So as you see, this is part of my game room. It's about uh, a quarter of everything. I got a lot of stuff. So a lot of N NES and Super Nintendo. I got a bunch of games. So I want to talk about the PlayStation Pro. Okay, so back in the day, you know, it used to be about Nintendo, Sega. You know, there was a console war back then. People used to argue, say, you know, Sega does what Nintendo don't, or, you know, Nintendo's better, it has all the games, it has all the exclusives, and here comes Sega, and Sega comes into the market. And, you know, it, it's been like a console war since back then. You know, that was when it was fun to have a console war. And people just got ridiculous. Like I'm, I'm not gonna say people today are just ridiculous with the console wars. Now it's it just like it doesn't even make sense anymore. So the PlayStation Pro was announced, and obviously it did not have what everyone you know expected it to have, which is the Ultra Blu-ray player. Now I'm not gonna lie, I would have loved that the PlayStation Pro had Ultra Blu-ray player, but to be honest with you, I really did not care whatsoever um, when they announced it because to be honest with you. You know, it doesn't matter. I, I'm going to get both consoles. You know, Xbox One S is something I'm going to order. Um, I didn't get it as of yet, but I will be getting that. It has that. And just to let you guys know, the quality of the Xbox One S, that Blu-ray player, the Ultra Blu-ray player, is not the best. It's good for the money, but at the same time, it's not that good anyway. So if you expect them to put really good Ultra Blu-ray players in these consoles, that's not going to happen. You know, you're better off, if you really care about the Ultra Blu-ray, you're better off buying a separate one, the one that's actually real. I believe the Samsung one's the best one that money could buy. Um, I mean, best one for its price right now. The Sony Ultra Blu-ray player is really, really good. Um, but the Samsung one is the, the most affordable one that actually is really good. So that's what people would buy if they had a 4K TV and you really cared about Ultra Blu-ray player. If not... Xbox One S is right there as well, which is not a bad thing. So people these days are saying that, oh, I'm not, it's a deal breaker. I'm not going to go ahead and buy the PlayStation Pro. All right, so you're telling me now that you're not going to buy a video game console because it doesn't play Ultra Blu-ray player? I'm sorry, how many people actually look at Ultra Blu-ray player? Now, I'm a person that actually does collect stuff. I you know I do love Ultra, like, I, do, I do love Blu-ray players and, you know, I would do watch Blu-ray movies. You know, I have a 4K TV and I'm planning on buying a real Ultra Blu-ray player. I was never like planning on like, oh, I'm going to just use a Sony one. I would have liked that they had it. I would have checked it out to see if it's really good. But if I really care about the quality of the film, I'm not going to rely on a video game console to play the Ultra Blu-ray player. It's not going to happen. You know, that's a great way to get things, but to, let's be real. Do you guys know how much the blue Ultra Blu-ray player disc costs? They cost like $25, $30 each one. Okay, so let's just pretend that my favorite ones, I'll probably get the Star Wars one or, um, you know, there's certain movies that I would get for it, but that's it. Everything else is Netflix. Majority of the market is Netflix. You know, Netflix, Hulu, those are what, like, that's what people spend money on. So the people are just like, oh, you know, this isn't right. I'm not going to buy a, this console. You sound ridiculous. Let's be realistic, all right? You were never going to buy that console. You didn't even care about it, you know? And that's just the funny thing about this whole thing. Like, you're, you're now fighting these console wars with the features it has. You know, people are talking about all that crap about backwards compatibility and, oh, like, this has backwards compatibility, this one doesn't. You really care? You're, you're telling me right now that... You're not going to buy a console because you can't play the games that are previous, you know, that's from the previous generation. Are you ridiculous? Look at all the, the look at all these games I have from the past. Why in the hell do I need a brand new console to play old games when I could get that old console to play just the same exact way if not better? Please explain to me. Explain to me why I care about backwards compatibility. You know, if that's what you're looking for in a console, if you're looking for that in a console, do you really have that many games? You know what I mean? 
if that's all the Xbox One is talk about, backwards compatibility, do you really have enough games to play that you really care about the old games? You know what I mean? I have so many games in my category, like catalog that I have not played yet. Between PC, Xbox One, PlayStation 4, I could care less about backwards compatibility. I can't even catch up to the new games. You guys are just too funny that you're fighting these console wars, fake console wars. No one cares about it. Companies don't care about you. They do not care about you. They just care if you buy something from them or not. You know what I mean? The only reason why Sony brought that console out for that price, they brought it for that price because they know that that's the price that everyone's looking for, $400. That's why they left it out. If you want a good quality Ultra HD Blu-ray player with all the, you know, the graphics, the GPU that the PlayStation 4 has, it's probably going to be like around the $500 mark. And as we know, $500, $550, you're not going to buy it majority of people will not buy it. So let's be real right now. We all know you're going to get this console. If you like the PlayStation, if you like the PlayStation 4, you're going to get this console. That's that's it. You know, just like any phone you upgrade every year, every two years, you upgrade it because it's a new thing. It's better than the last one. That's the only reason why you're going to get it. So let's be realistic. The people that were not going to get this and are not getting it now, they were never going to get it. You don't care. So stop pretending that that's the only reason why you're not going to get the PlayStation Pro. Come on, let's be realistic, people. Now, if you don't have a 4K TV, the only other reason why you'll get this console is because it's updated version and it's going to play games smoother. That's it. For me, it's $400. I could care less. I'll bring in my old PlayStation 4, get at least $150 for it. I'll definitely sell for $150 with some games that I have. Can I pick up games all the time with garage sales? I'll throw in like a little bundle there and get someone to buy it for me. That's it then I'll pay the rest and get the new one. Simple as that. I already pre-ordered day one, and that's it. I like updated stuff. That's why I get updated phones every year. You know what I mean? Like, you guys gotta stop these stupid console wars. It's ridiculous. You make yourselves look like little kids, and most, most of you guys are not little kids. That's the sad part. You know what I mean? Look at me, I'm 31 years old. You know, there's a lot of other people my age fighting these console wars. Like, what are you doing right now? Get a damn job, for real. All right, I'm done, you know, I'm done with this little rant that I had. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. And maybe I might do a game room tour for you guys eventually. But more than likely, it'll be on my Not Too Nerdy Retro channel. So let me know if you're interested in that in the comments down below. And that's pretty much it. This is Hector from Not Too Nerdy. I'm out. See you, YouTube.